look at another kind of artist whose work over the past few years has appeared all over New York, if indeed what's done can be called art at all. Some people brand it vandalism. It's done surreptitiously and sometimes dangerously. In our film, it's New Yorkers themselves who tell us about it. So I started writing in 1984. I was writing Cert. Um, the first two years, it was like my, uh, you know, I mean, I had all the tags before I wrote Cirque, but that was the one that I, I stuck with. Yeah, it was short for Berserk. It was like a video game, like, uh, you know, back in the back in the 80s, one of them corn-operated video games. So I started off with, you know, going over people. I was biting guys and, you know, writing on people's personal property, you know? Yeah. I would see a, a tag that was like, you know, a dark colored tag, and I'd be like, oh, perfect spot, dark. So I'll use a white pentel cop tag on it because my white tag will contrast off the black background, not realizing I'm going over somebody. Like yeah. I did, I, the way I did it, I, I wrote out the alphabet in graffiti style hands and circled all the letters I wanted. And then when I did, I started to try to spell words like bobble. Like I tried to spell words until I came up with like a handful of names and they work really well. So I was like, you know what? That's it, bam, cool. That's the name I'm taking. Uh, some of the people you interview, you know, they forget like, you know, some of these guys are a much younger generation than you. When I say wrapping your fat cap, like now you can just buy them in bags of like a hundred or a thousand. But back in the day, you weren't gonna go into a store and be like, let me get a bag of fat caps with that, please. I had to go into a store and literally find, appli uh, you know, appliance cleaners and different cleaners and pick each cap off of each can and shove them in your mouth or stuff them in your pocket. You would be soaking them in solutions to save them for the next mission because you're like, oh, well, I gotta make these things last. That bond is really strong. Like you, you can read a person without saying anything to that person. We had our favorite stores and we would try to find new ones. And what we did, we would just, you know, we look, we really looked out for each other. We're like, yo, or, you know, hey, it's my turn to rack now. And I'm, it's my turn to eat. We start stuffing our jackets up or our bags up and stuff like that. You take turns looking out for each other when we did. And before we leave the store, we made sure nobody was you know, saw us or anything like that. And then we would, we would give each other the, uh, the thumbs up to make sure we were good to go. Like, you know, hey, John, you know, you're freaking, you're, you're looking crazy and shit, man. You, you're freaking, your jacket. Looks like it's looks like you racked the freaking damn Christmas tree or a turkey or something like that underneath your jacket. You might want to take some of those cans out. It looks really bad. And I had everything itemized on there. It'd be like pylons, maybe like two hundred and seventy-five dollars worth. Rust oleum, three hundred and twenty. By the time that day went by, it would be a couple of it would be like a couple of jeans worth of shit in my car. I was bombing with my high school buddy and um we were literally bombing the freeway, the highway. Um, yeah, it was crazy because, um, you know, we literally hit everything on both sides of the frequent highway all the way down. And then um, we were getting ready to wrap up this mission because we we're almost out of paint. But we had just enough, we had just enough paint in the cans to cop a couple of more tags. The cop is getting off the freaking exit and slows down and sees us like straight spraying right there. We're like, oh shit, get the hell out of here. And um, we see them throw the freaking, the, the vehicle in reverse. Across the street, there was a church that was on fire. It was burning. They were responding to that. And so like two idiots, we ran across the freaking freeway all the way across and hopped over that wall and into the arms of like, Good Samaritans and sitting, making the citizens arrest and a, a, a gang of firefighters up here. So we got so we got arrested. Um, yeah, and then, you know, of course the cops catch up to us and, you know, they got a little hands-on physical with us and, yeah. and, and even spray painted our hair and our jackets. Uh, the worst one I would say for me was uh, when I actually got ch chased. Um, I actually was bobbing with a couple of my buddies and we got spotted, so we we ran to uh, ac across the highway again because you know that was like a protocol to do. Like we're gonna get off the highway and get back to my car. My dad was actually out of town on business. My mom was asleep. Uh, I had stole my dad's car. What happened was um, we seen the cops were parked somewhere near my car, and I don't know if they saw us or knew we were there. 
they were sitting there like they were waiting for us to get off the freeway. And the next thing you know, like the cops turn their vehicle on and they, they leave. So we're like, oh shit, they probably gave up. And we said, fuck it. So we're like, you know what? We got to make a dash for the car. And we all, all five of us jumped off the freeway and run to my car. We all got in, fired up the car. But you know what? The cops didn't actually leave. They just went around the block because they probably knew we were in the area. Cut the car run, they threw their lights on. And I was like, oh shit. And I'm blowing stop signs. I'm blowing red lights. I'm like, you know what? I need to get on the freeway and get to the next borough because that'll be putting these cops out of their jurisdiction and they can't touch us. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking because that's the mentality of a stupid ass teenager that I had. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, cool. And I was relatively a new driver too. You know what I'm saying? So I was driving, 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 uh, 70 miles per hour and change and whatnot. And all of a sudden I, I'm like, oh, there's an the entrance to the freeway. So I hope this sharp turn, I hit the curb, the car flipped over twice. Um, none of us were wearing seat belts. And, and surprisingly, I didn't kill anybody or anyone in the vehicle. I threw the door open, the cop cars, the cop cars surrounded up my vehicle and they're yelling all kinds of racist shit. Like, get that fucking ass over here. And they're chasing me with their sticks out. And they're chasing me and I, I, I get out and I'm like, ah! And I freaking start running for the ramp, freeway ramp. Me and one of my other buddies, we, we literally just barely got away. What ended up happening was I got a phone call in the middle of the night he obviously did the, uh, the the police did the uh, background the thing and found out who the registered owner was to that vehicle and they called yeah. there and they were like yo um, they were like hey man we know who you are and uh, you know what you did was really fucking stupid you could have killed some people you know what I'm saying and um, you're, today's your lucky day and I'm like oh my god what's going on here and he's like like um, he's like, he's like, one of the kids that was in the back of your car, his mother was like a captain in a police department. And so they were like, this is the deal. You're going to come down here and have your piece of shit car towed out of here. And you don't ever come back to Brooklyn. 